Um, yes. Could I just while I while I remember, I just want to what what did um, Whitehead think about space? Was I mean, was space a sort of was it a given in his system, or is is it like an emergent property, or what what did what did he say about space? Well, he said there's no such thing as empty space. Okay. Um, I mean, he fully accepted the relativistic um, paradigm shift. He had Mm -hmm. some critiques of, of Einstein. We can get into those details. But in general, the idea of space and time or space-time, um, not as like space doesn't exist independently of the matter which floats in it mm. for Whitehead. Space is actually a, it's more like a field of, potentiality it's it's the way in which um occasions of experience in his terms actual occasions of experience relate to one another and so rather than thinking of space as already existing and then you have entities that inhabit that space mm. for whitehead space emerges from the relationships mm. among actual occasions mm. and so it's a bit of a figure ground shift mm. and it's even more i would say it's even more relativistic than einstein's conception So it doesn't presuppose some medium through which these entities can relate. It's it's more about just the relationship itself. So I mean, this reminds me of some of um, what Chris Fields has been doing on um, his physics as information processing, because he assumes nothing as well. He just says, look, there are these entities communicating information across boundaries, you know, and um, right. just sort of pairs it back to the absolute essentials. And it, it doesn't assume space or time, I don't think. Um, mm. So so sorry to interrupt. Please do carry on. But I mean, I've also, what did he say about time? Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's a process philosopher. And so on the one hand, time is very important and irreducible, but there's a difference between clock time, that time that we can measure, um, and lived time, let's say, or mm. uh, a kind of uh, creative unfolding. So, you know, in physics, most of the equations of physics and relativity theory and quantum theory um it, the the direction of time is irrelevant the 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 laws of physics work just as well in either direction and so that's only the only approach in physics that where that's where time as a directional process features would be in thermodynamics because there's this movement towards a direction um, towards entropy towards disorder and uh, movement towards equilibrium um but for the most part in physics uh time is this is this um you know parameter that can go in either direction which stands in sharp conflict to our perception mm. 